This is the D minor triad. And in this video, I will be showing you how to play it, as well as all the inversions and three simple exercises to help you memorize and master it at the fastest speed possible. So let's get into it. D minor is a beautiful chord and it consists of D, F, and A, which are all white notes, obviously, and thusly it is pretty comfortable to play. The finger position I would use is the same for all triads, which are three note chords consisting of the one, three, and five, whereby the root and the fifth are the same color. And whenever that's the case, which it is in almost every triad, I play thumb, middle finger, pinky. And in the left hand, the opposite, pinky, middle finger, thumb. So that's my fingering. The reason is it works for all hand sizes and it gives you the flexibility to throw in other notes in between and quickly go into melodic passages like that. Of course, you can do other things. Sometimes I'll play it like that if I want to put the octave on top. And you can always be flexible. Well, when starting out, pick a hand position that works. I would suggest this because it's pretty easy and comfortable. And just stick with it until you get it down. Now, the inversions. That's where there's a little more leniency when it comes to hand position. Because, obviously, you're moving around through pretty different and distinct shapes and whatever works best for you as far as finger position goes is uh, okay. Because the thing about the inversions, it's not about what any one finger position is. You can do it any sort of way you want. It's about getting used to the flow of them all and really memorizing all those shapes. And as you can see here, I'm playing everything with both hands, which I would highly suggest all of you do, because that way you will be an ambidextrous monster. And I'll admit, I don't practice everything in both hands all the time, but I'm trying to teach here, so I'm trying to look professional. But anyhow, um, the inversions are, this is root position, as I told you. First inversion, which is F, A, D. Second inversion, which is A, D, F, back to root position. And like I said, play it when whatever finger position feels most comfortable to you except please be consistent for that is the only way to memorize anything is if you really just drill it and stay consistent so anyway the inversions are great incredibly important because triads are fundamentally pretty bland and if you have a song that has like 16 d minors in a row doing this uh it's not going to get you a lot of gigs so play a whole melody just with inversions. It's called voice leading. We'll get there in another video. Anyhow, that's the chord, those are the inversions. Here are some exercises to help you memorize it. First one, obviously, just play the chord repeatedly as a single harmony. Nice thing about this is you can work on your finger position and it uh, helps you get used to the shape. Elaborate on that a little bit, arpeggios, also work the finger position, but more importantly, help you on an individual note basis memorize all the elements of the chord. And I prefer to do it as a four note arpeggio because this one is a little more rhythmic and you can take it up a little bit. And I would always suggest playing triads with the octave on top. It just gives them a lot more weight and they just sound better. So. This is probably my favorite exercise for any chord, particularly a triad. And the nice thing about it is you can just go through the inversions with it. And please go slow. I'm just going fast so the video isn't too long. The last exercise is a pretty tough one, but it'll really help you completely dominate this chord, which is every other note of the chord played ascending and descending. And the reason this is so good is because it makes you figure out what every note is by itself without relying on the shape of the chord as a whole. So 
So those are three exercises. Um, if no one's ever told you how much to practice, please do not practice 12 hours a day. You heard me say it here. You can quote me on that. Um, I would say practice for however much time you have, but be smart about the way you practice. And if you're just starting out, just focus on the simple stuff. Don't even worry about playing songs. Even if you know a song already and you're like, hmm, my technique's not very good. I need to practice. Just do these things for a week, you know, a little bit every day. And when I say a little bit, I mean, however much time you can afford. If it's two hours, great. If it's two minutes, great. The only thing that matters is consistency. Don't let anyone tell you you need to practice 12 hours a day. You don't, and it's unhealthy. I've injured myself with that mentality. So just put in as much time as you can and be regular and have a strategy and know what you're going to work on and nothing can stop you. So that's it. That's D minor. And I hope you enjoyed this video and found it educational. And if you did, please give it the good old thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more like this. Thank you.